I'm going to find a way to get Alan back. Good. But he'll never change. He would do the same thing again in a heartbeat without a pang of conscience. Are you so sure about that? He's Alan Spalding. Well, then answer me this. Why the two of us have been so noble, but Alan isn't and never will be. Why have you worked so hard to be so good? Exactly what you were doing. Down. I know how this looks, Philip, but I was caught in the middle. Yes, because you put yourself in the middle. No, I didn't want either you or Alan to get hurt. Now, what was I supposed to do? You were supposed to tell me, on Alex. You were supposed to say, Philip, your father hasn't really had a heart attack. It's just a trick. He just wants to scare you and Olivia and pay you back. That's I, what you were supposed to do. I couldn't do that. Yeah, because you had other plans. No, no, my own... Look, my only plan was to keep you and Alan from killing each other. I hated keeping quiet. I did it out of love. Love? You let me twist with guilt for something that I hadn't done, and that was you loving me. All right, it seemed like the best alternative at the time. Come on, if I had told you what Alan was up to, you two would have been at each other's throats. You might have been off with Olivia. But that seemed like a worse, worse alternative right, at and, the time. And you got to make that decision for us. I didn't look at it that way. Right, because you weren't looking at anything except taking the company. Why? God, can't you just be honest about that much? You knew he faked the heart attack, you had the leverage you needed, and you used it. It's okay. It's the Spalding way. All right. I would just like to hear you say it. Would you believe that possibly my taking over the company had a great deal to do with protecting you, too? Oh, God, it's too much. No, Philip, I know you can't see it now. Much. I know. But what? But there's, there's going to be, there'll be some magical time in the future where it all makes perfect sense to me. Are you really going to try to sell me that now? Philip, I'm sorry. You're what? I'm sorry. I could have... I should have told you what Alan was up to. Company, no company, whatever happened with Olivia, I... I shouldn't have kept quiet. So, what is this now, a strategic retreat? No, no. Well, yes, God, yes, of course it is. Because you knew what you were doing while you were doing it. No, you just need to work me now, so... Uh, no, no, Philip, Philip, I'm, 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 I'm starting to remember. Remember what? Why I left this house! Why I never wanted to be here for most of my life. How did I forget? How did I talk myself into believing that this would be okay? The manipulating and the lies and everybody out for themselves and not being able to believe a word out of anybody's mouth. Why did I think that I could handle that now and still be somebody? All right, Philip. No, no, it's a, this is important because I used to know better. Philip, please don't talk that way. You need this family, I know. What family? Who's here? You ever wonder why nobody ever sticks around this place for very long? You've been gone for years. Now, when you did come back, look at, look at the homecoming present you gave me. No, this is the point, Aunt Alex. Besides my kids right now, this family is you and Alan. What makes you think I can't live without either one of you? You busy? Oh, yeah, yeah, tons to do. You know, with the divorce lawyer and the lawyers taking over the hotel and... Can that wait? Sure. I need to see you. I'll be here in my room. Just have the front desk call me when you get here. I'll be right there. over hi hi 
I thought that you were. I ordered us a light supper. You hungry? No. Neither am I. Listening to her excuses about why she kept quiet. I get the feeling there's something else going on. Some other agenda under there. Oh, goody. But you know what? I don't I don't I don't want to get into that. Because it's poison. It's all poison. There's no way to manage my family without getting sucked in. It's all about. It's all about figuring how to maneuver and when and where and and you do that and you get lost. At least I did. I started pushing down what I was feeling. Trying to trying to walk that line, trying to navigate that. Didn't we all? Yeah, but you knew what you wanted. You knew what I wanted. All those months that you kept kept saying to me, you kept you kept telling me, just try to be honest about what I was feeling, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't. I was trying to be loyal to my father, or at least that's what I was telling myself. But I had forgotten who he was. More important, I had forgotten who I was. And frankly, you scared the hell out of me. Oh, oh, oh. Don't worry about it, I do that. No, it wasn't you. I just wasn't ready. Because see, I had been managing for so long. I had been coping with everybody else's feelings, everybody else's problems. I'd been walking through the landmines with Harley and then with Beth where it didn't, whatever feeling I had, any, anything I said got turned on me. And I, I got lost. You, no, you, you, you made the best out of a very difficult situation. I saw it and you, you tried to do right by them. But not by you. See, there you were. You had pushed yourself out there, heart and soul, and I just left you hanging, didn't I? Even though I wanted you so bad I could taste it. There were times it took everything in me not to... I wanted you. I still do. Because I love your fire and your passion. I love your honesty, your laugh, your mind, your mistakes. I love the fierceness when you're going after something or when you're protecting someone. I love. I love you. And I know it's too late. After everything that's happened, believe me, I don't blame you. I just wanted to tell you that. Because at the very least, you deserve to know you weren't wrong. Your heart wasn't lying to you. I do love you. Think you're going.
there's no turning back from here.